Rabbits, oh welcome back to my channel. Today we have the Wizard in Trunk, the, I do believe it is, the red-headed family that we all know and love. I'm excited, this is not my box as per usual, it is Lisa's, she's actually sat with me. Hi. <laughs> I can't see you, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited, oh no, your foot's in it. You can wave your foot to him. <laughs> But yeah, we all love this family. I am yet to meet someone that doesn't love this family. I'm excited to see what is inside this box and a massive thank you to Lisa. Otherwise we wouldn't be seeing this box on this channel. So if you wanna see just as much as we do, what is inside the new Wizarding Trunk box, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you've seen my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you love anything to do with Harry Potter, then this is the place for you. Join the magic and mayhem, hit subscribe because I'd love to have you. A massive thank you to these guys. These guys are my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running just that little bit more. If you'd like to know anything about Patreon, it's linked in the description of this video, along with my social medias. Go see what I'm up to on those. Let's do this. Well, I'm trying to be careful, guys, because Lisa's address is, we're fine. It's everywhere. There's stickers everywhere. Wizard in Trunk, you like your stickers. Well, it's not the Wizard in Trunk, it's the postal service. So, no, I'll let you off, Customs Wizard in Trunk. Stuff. Customs and stuff. Well, I'll let you off, Wizard in Trunk. Ooh. This is definitely my favourite box at the minute. Is it yours? Mm. It's so nice, Wizard in Trunk. You do amazing. Right, I'm going to pull this t-shirt. We have a t-shirt. It's a nice grey. I like grey. It goes with a lot. Okay. Oh! Oh, wow. So, we've got a little thing there. Norwege hang on. Norwegian Dragon Sanctuary. Oh, I like that. A sanctuary for dragons. And then it's... Look at that. On the back. Norwegian Dragon Sanctuary. That's really nice. It's good quality too, this t-shirt. Need a buy. Next level, I thought it was next. <laughs> next level apparel. That's really good quality. I like that. Like I say, grey goes with a lot and I do like the idea. I know why this was made. Bill, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Bill, our Bill. Our Bill, that's why. No, I like that t-shirt. That's really nice. It'll go with a lot. Well, for Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mine. Right, what we got here, we have recipe cards. So, I'm taking things to bits, Lisa. So, we have got a recipe for orange squash drink. Notes. To serve, fill glass with ice and half with orange squash mixture. Top off with chilled water, garnish with mint and orange slices. So, and then, oh, sausage rolls. We've actually got lots of different recipes. This is really cool. So, obviously, this is all to do with our Molly. Our Molly! Shepherd's pie! Cauliflower cheese. Oh, these are really cool. Mashed potatoes. You can't go wrong with mash anyway. Two, 21, no, two, 21 pounds. Two pounds potatoes peeled and cubed, eight tablespoons of butter or a stick, half a cup of heavy cream, cloves, minced garlic, two of them, half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, one teaspoon of parsley. For more of a garlic flavour, take a sliced clove of garlic and add it to the pot of water while the potatoes cook. May have to try that one. And then treacle tart. Isn't it Harry's favourite dessert, that? Mm. Yeah. See that. But it there's at the Hogwarts at the Hogwarts dinner as well. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. Right. Oh, there's lots of things in here, guys. Lots of things. Okay, we've got a pin badge. <laughs> you can't say that, <laughs> big head boy. That's what the twins change it to, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so good. I love that. That's what I love, the little details. You know, the ones that you tend to forget about and things. Yeah. It's so cool. It just doesn't look right. I'm sorry. Does it? <laughs> Spilt! <laughs> no, that's really cool. And I love their pins. Let me take it out of here. Is it soft and It's soft enamel, isn't it? I think when it sinks in. Yeah, yeah soft enamel. I, I'm saying the word. That is so nice. Look how shiny that is. I like that. That's really nice, that. Right, we have got... Is this what I think it is? Is this a pigment box? Is it a pigment box? 
or anyone might find out. Cutest creature alive. Am I in this box? <laughs> oh! Look! It's so happy to see me. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, you got a bit of fluff on you. Well, you got a lot, but you know what I mean. Oh, look at them eyes. Oh. Oh, it's so... Feel that. Mm, it's what is really that? light. It's like it's not even there. I know. Have a feel! I think if I remember right, that I've seen a couple of people putting things up and I think there's more than one colour. Oh guys, if you got this box, if you got a different colour, let me know and let me know what colour you got. Beautiful. Uh, and let me know if it was the box was different as well, because obviously it's pink on here and yeah. we've got a pink one. What are you calling him? Her. Have a think. Now <laughs> Probably Susie. Susie! Because of the big eyes. Not that I've got big eyes, but right, it's Susie because it's cute like me. Right, the next thing we've got, guys, I'm going to take it out of the packaging. It looks like a key. <gasps> Silly girl. It says what it is on there. It's the key to the Ford Anglia. Look at that! That's a really cool design. I'll show you in a minute, Lisa. Oh, look at that. Ministry of Magic, look. Do you reckon they're meant to be Arthur's keys then? I think they are Arthur's keys because obviously he worked for the Ministry of Magic mm. and obviously it's his Ford Anglia. Okay, that's quite cool that. They're quite chunky as well, aren't they? They are chunky. I like that though because mm. obviously for displaying that, they're e you wouldn't feel thingy dust in them because they're solid, mm. really mm. solid. Oh, Wizard and Druggy is so clever. I love them. I absolutely love them. Hey, Alicia, I'll let you have a look at your things. <laughs> right, they've got MM on the little thing. Oh, yeah, let me show them. So it's look, even look, little details, that's what we like. It's got MM at the bottom here. Stop focusing on my face, I know I'm a cute creature. Ministry of Magic, look, and the scales. Ah, they're really, really nice. Right, what we got here? Garden in Transit. Oh. No, you haven't. You haven't. Let's have a look. Is this the Weasley clock, like a little version of it? It is. It's the, hang on, let me get it out. It's got a bit of foam on it, hang on. It's the brown version. Wizard in trunk, if you're watching. I don't know if you've seen mine, you'll see Lisa as well. There's mine, hang on. I can't, hang on, just hang on. There's mine, look. And I've got a mini one that I made there as well. But that's my Weasley clock that me and my dad built. Anyway, back to the video. So yeah, that's a really cool idea because everybody loves the Weasley clock. It's even got the little hands and the little uh, where they all are and things. Words, Susie. School, garden, in transit, lost, home, mortal peril and work. Oh, that's a really cute replica. Do you like your replica? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well done, Wizard in Trunk. We've still got more. There's all there's more. What we got here? I love paper replicas. What we got here? Confidential. Magical bites and infectious attacks. Confidential. I feel like a bit of a rebel. Okay, so we just had a talk and we're thinking this was Bill's. So magical bites, infectious attacks ward. Obviously he was bit by a werewolf. Was he bit or scratched? They said attacked. attacked, so it would have probably been a bit of everything. But he's got the claw marks on his face, hasn't he? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So this is obviously, I mean, it says patient's name, confidential, age 26 years. His weight, I won't disclose that. I'll, I'll keep that a secret for him. Date admitted, 30th of June 1997. Time admitted, 11.49pm. Uh, the healer in charge, um, admitting healer, reason for admitting... Yeah, patient was attacked by a werewolf. There you go, look. So yeah, yeah, it is. So you've got obviously all the admittance form there. And then, oh wow. So 1st of July, I won't read it all out, but we've got, <coughs> this is the observations that the healer is writing down. 3rd, 3rd of July. And then it carries on, look. 7th of July, 10th, 13th, 15th, 16th, 19th, 20th. Oh, discharge notice at the back there. Healer in charge approves discharge and it's marked yes, 22nd of July 1997 and then it has um, discharge notes and instructions. That's really cool. I love paper replicas like this. 
just makes it feel real doesn't it I don't know if that made sense guys but I know what I mean and Lisa clearly does unless you're just agreeing with me <laughs> it's nice to have bits that fit into the story isn't it it is it just these little bits and it makes you feel like you're kind of part of it Mm. having them yeah. don't it it's ever so weird it's weird paper replicas love them so we've got here magical creatures names so this will be like the garden names that molly has troubles with in her garden and ghouls because they have a ghoul in their loft or attic whatever it is the loft isn't it an attic yeah yeah, yeah. he's in the loft or attic that's really cool so we've got some information on gnomes and ghouls and again it looks like it's been ripped out of a book I really like that. That's really, really cool. Okay, so what do we have here? Wizarding family. Oh, no. That is the cheat sheet. <gasps> oh. Oh, that is nice. So we've got a picture of the burrow there. Oh, I like that. The soft effect to it as well. Isn't it nice? And all the colour. It's really colourful. The Weasley aesthetic is colourful though, isn't it? Oh, Look at that for art. There's a lot going on in that lot. Aww. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So that's the paper replicas. We've got another one there that's quite pretty, but it's cheat sheet, so we'll look at that in a bit. Right, we've got two boxes left. What we got in here? Oh, there's quite a lot in this one. What's this? Okay. We have some sort of what looks to be a potion. Bruise remover. So this is a this will be a Weasley product, won't it? Yeah, obviously. You've got the orange and the purple. It's got like purple liquid inside. That's really cool. And what we got there. Oh, that's cute. That's really nice. So that would look really nice on my Weasley shelf. <laughs> oh, it shimmers. It shimmers. Look. Oh, that's pretty. That is a pretty purple, that. Beautiful. And then, this came in the box as well. These mittens. They are. Oh, how adorable are they? I need to try them on. Oh, no! They're warm. They're comfy. They work. They're really nice, look. Oh, that was nice. I like that. Very nice. Right, we've got one more box, guys. This box was jam-packed once again, Wizarding Trunk. You never fail to amaze me. Okay. Kitchen Witch. This is you, Lisa. Uh, oh. Okay, this is cool. So, you know the recipe cards that we got? So, we've got a box here. It says Kitchen Witch on the lid. It's really old looking. Proper Weasley vibes. Magical recipes for all occasions. And then on each side it says Kitchen Witch again. So it will open her up. And then <coughs> we have some of our own recipe cards that we can write our own recipes on. And then we've got some dividers, beverages, appetizers, and entrees. Is that what you say it? Yeah. I'm not partial French. Is it French? <laughs> Shush, Susie. So that's a really cool idea. That is a really cool idea. So I want to know what you bake. Oh, directions as well. So I want to see lots of baking from you, Lisa. Lots of baking, and I will come round and try everything. So that is the wizarding trunk, guys. Let's have a look at the cheat sheet. Look at all them stamps. That is really cool. Right, so item one. Everyone's favourite wizarding family. I love that. I love it. Item one, the Kitchen Witch Recipe Holder. Keep all your favourite recipes in one place, designed by Wizardry Workshop. He's amazing. Uh, number two, hand-knit mittens, a pair of mittens to match your scarf, created by self-knitting needles. <clears throat> number three, really nice, gloves them. Number three, the garden name creature page. The garden name and ghoul page from Magical Creatures A to Z, written by the Wizarding Trunk, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Then we've got the set of keys. These keys will get you into your car and work. Designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. A Wizarding Trunk exclusive. 
And then we've got number five, the Dragon Sanctuary shirt. Picked up on your travels to Norway. This shirt was designed for us by here. Here, designed for us by here.b.monsters. Number six, the patent, pa patented, patented? Patented. Patented. Bruise remover. Removes bruises from the skin, particularly caused by magical mischief, designed by Wizardry Workshop and bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Do you know what, Jamie needs that? Why is it with boys and bruises? They're always bruised. Oh, honestly. If you've got bruises, it's not wrong. Yeah, it's always covered in them, always. It's not me. Seven, the family clock displays everyone's location at all times. Clock design by JP Mistlecrow and clock face by Wizardry Workshop. Well done, guys, because that is really cool. Number eight, inside the magical home. See how many of this box's items are on the print. Oh, cool. That's, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'll have another look at that. Uh, created for us by JP Mistlecrow. Number nine, magical medical chart. That is a really cool, I really like that idea. Details the events after a patient's werewolf attack. Written by the Wizard in Trunk. Designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number ten, the big head boy. <laughs> Sorry. It's filth! Pure filth! This head boy pin has been tampered with. <laughs> Designed in the house. It's a really cool pin badge that I like that. And then number 11, the garden view print gives us a view into the garden. Look closely, you may spot some names. I didn't look close enough, clearly. Again, I'll have another look at that, but it's such a lovely print, that is. <clears throat> and then number 12, the cutest creature alive. <laughs> Which colour did you receive? Pink! If you didn't notice, it was pink. Okay, so this box overall, it was a right joy to unbox. I love, it is my favourite wizard in family. Absolutely love them so much the weasleys and everything just screams weasley inside this box so once again wizard and drunk you have absolutely nailed it absolutely nailed it but what did you guys think again let me know in the comments what color your pygmy puff was if you got this but yeah let me know what you think what was your favorite item favorite item this is why i don't like you wizard and trunk because i can't pick a favorite because <laughs> i like them all i don't know favorite what's your favorite T-shirt. Lisa likes the t-shirt. Let's have another look. That's Lisa's favourite then. It is really cool that. <coughs> it is really nice. I'm surprised you can't pick the clock. I know. It is a really nice little replica that. I don't I honestly don't know because I love the clock, but there's more here that I really love. And I don't know. It's making my head hurt. We're going to say the whole box is my favourite because there isn't even a least favourite item in this box. This box was an absolute joy to do. It was really good, really well thought out. And I love that you cover little details as well. I really, really, really enjoyed this box. But let me know what your favourite was. Let me know what your least favourite was. Uh, if you named your pick, no, you named it Susie. The Pygmy Puff's called Susie. <laughs> It's a great name. But I'm going to go now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Well done once again, Wizard in Trunk, for creating such a masterpiece. A magical masterpiece. But I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Pods Puppets.